Hey, what is up guys? FGN Gabe here coming to you with my first upload to this channel. Um so basically what I'm going to be showing you today is how to run Mac OS X on your AMD laptop. And now the reason why this is for AMD laptops or PCs is because um if you'd be doing it on an Intel laptop, it'd be so much more simpler and there're tons and tons of videos on the internet that'll show you how. And two, um I don't have an Intel laptop so yeah all right so let's get started so what you're gonna want to do you want to go to this link here power um, this part bay link so don't worry it's completely safe and just to prove it to you I will run a virus scan in the background of this video and at the end of the video I'll show you that I'm still not gonna have any viruses so just history no virus no virus no virus scan it just leave it Alright, so what does this Pirate Bay turret include? It includes VMware. Um, porn pop-ups, hold on. Um, so VMware is basically what will run the uh, parallel desktops for you. Um, and it'll also include OS X 10, Mac OS X 10.6.7. And for all of you Apple fanboys, you would know that Mac OS X 10.6.7 is Snow Leopard, not Mountain Lion. Um, Snow Leopard isn't the most recent one, but it is the most recent Mac version that would run on an AMD processor. So basically, what you're going to want to do, <coughs> download this, and then in that file, in this torrent, you'd get two things. One this file here, Mac OS No Leopard 10.6.7 and the only um, and just just Darwin Snow Legacy ISO and one other file which I think I deleted accidentally and this is just because I've been uh, tinkering with it I've added a couple stuff um, so and in addition to that you're also gonna get um, VMware Workstation, which is this here. Now, once you open VM Workstation up, give it 30 seconds. So, this it's um, just I've already done this before, but what you're gonna get when you're gonna open it up is something similar to this a screen, actually, not this most likely you're going to get this. Hold on. <coughs> this screen here. So, what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to click create new virtual machine. So you're going to want to go with uh, typical configuration next uh, what file you're gonna go browse you're gonna go find that file uh, the Darwin Snow Legacy ISO you're gonna open it this is the file that you're gonna want to use click next because um, this is this file is Mac not Windows Linux Novell Sun or VMware or yeah VMware it's other and you're also going to go other because Mac isn't an option here you're going to go next um, now what you're going to want to call this call it anything you want I call I'll call it Mac uh, OS 10 point uh, actually snow I don't know how to spell um, Snow Leopard 10.6.7 and this is not the first one I've made so let's just go two. So you're going to click next and now this is going to be the spec that you want to give this virtual machine. So you want to be generous with the disk size that you're going to give it, right? So you're going to give it, well, I gave it 30 gig, let's give another 30 gig of RAM and you're going to click next. 
Now these are all the specs that you want to give it. Um, or that you can give it. So let's just go customize hardware. I think for uh, my previous one, I gave it 5.9 gig. So 5,900 meg. I gave it four processors, one core. Gonna want to make sure it's just double check that you're running your Darwin Snow Legacy ISO file. Floppy disk, you don't need it. Um, so this is gonna be your network adapter. Make sure it's on and NAT. Use to share ho the host's IP address. So this is gonna be um when you're gonna be on your virtual desktop, so you can connect to the internet. You are then going to go close. You're going to go finish. And this space is going to start running. Alright, give me one second. Sorry about that, someone is at the door. Alright, so basically what you're going to get. You're going to get this. Just go over everything here. Now you're going to go power on this virtual machine. Which it would have already done that for you. So basically it's going to take a couple minutes. But what you're going to want to do right from the start after this boots just click inside this virtual desktop so you see how my cursor here is the finger here you can't see it anymore right so that's because I clicked in you're gonna use your arrow keys scroll left to OSX 10.6.7 hit enter now if ever you're gonna want to use your mouse again to get out of this just click control alt that's default and then you can go back now you're gonna give this a couple minutes just to load. Um, I'll pause it. Um, yeah, I'll pause it. Start it again when it's loading. So guys, I'm back. So after it's gonna have loaded, you may or may not get stuck to this screen. So what you're gonna want to do, you're gonna want a full screen. And now remember, um, now it's gonna be full screen for you. But just for video purposes, I will have it. Uh, windowed so once again control alt go to the top remove full screen and now yep this is basically this is going to be your Mac but remember guys oh uh, hold on this is only for testing purposes and it does work it's a little bit laggy but it does work so it's so opening Safari client uh, Yep, works guys. Um that's basically it. Thank you for watching. Oh, oh battery. Oh uh, yeah, one more thing guys. Um remember that virus scan? Yeah, um I must prove to you that it is not a virus. Security Essentials is monitoring your PC and help and helping to protect it no threats are detected during peace on your PC during this scan there it is guys completely safe nothing to worry about thank you for watching like subscribe comment and share that's it for this video guys thank you have a good day